I did try uploading some chapters of the book, but I was told um, the videos were too long. So I'm going to have to read the chapters one by one, unfortunately, and upload them, which is a nuisance for you to listen to and for me to have to do. But um, So here we are. I'll start with the foreword in chapter one. Predictions and prophecies. Forward. The words in this book were written by me, but inspired by another or others. I was aware they were given by one person, but that person is from one of many who sit together at God's right hand, for a purpose they explain in these pages. I say person, although that's a term used by us, as we can better understand it than saying pure spirit. If I'm really honest, I know the content came from pure spirit of God's heavenly kingdom, but I actually feel everything written was given by a person who was once of our world, but appointed by them for the purpose of passing me their words. I do not ever sit and ask for messages or words to be given to me. Everything I do happens naturally. When they are to give me words, and I'm not expecting it, I start to yawn, even though I'm not tired. The yawning happens constantly for about five minutes, making my eyes stream until words suddenly come into my head. The speed then with which I type is far quicker than normal in order for me to keep up with the words they give me. Talk of devastation, destruction of countries, sky, sea, land, animals, disease, paedophilia, bestiality, religion, the afterlife and so much more is touched upon within these pages. It is hard hitting, but in a way that is far gentler than I could ever word it myself. What you make of it is a personal thing to you. They say many will hate the content and others will rejoice. Those who find it negative will possibly have be little awareness about the ways those sent by God truly work. They will prefer the ways of full spirituality and spirits as offered by so many today. As full, spiritu as full spirituality, allowing everyone to behave and live as they wish to, with no judgment or retribution from God. They may also be in denial about our world as it already is seen to be. Those who find this book positive will see the truths that lie within these pages and be prepared to look at themselves in an honest way and help in the ways God asks of them. When the word spirit is spoken of, it is those of God's kingdom and not those who come to do readings profess to be of the dead. When we leave our earthly bodies behind us, we will one day enter a world of pure spirit that will hopefully lead us to God and paradise. Only spirits who lead us to God are the ones we should be listening to. I am overawed by the fact I have been chosen to deliver these words. And I apologise profusely to you for being mentioned in here. I was going to cut those bits out, but was told I must leave them in. Maybe a lesson in humility for me. If what they say within these pages is seen to happen, together with what they say is to happen to me, it will help show readers their words are true and indeed of God. For God never lies. They warn of how I, and others like me who are used to pass their words to the world, will be treated by some who will be angered and will ridicule and try to discredit us. They will not like what they hear and read due to being offered or offering the new brand of spirituality that's more to man's liking. What man thinks of me means very little. There is only one I serve an answer to, and that's God. Now, chapter one. We have come today as the world needs to hear some of what is to come, what has passed, and how the people of the world live today. So much distresses us as we watch what it is they do to each other and to themselves. They know not what it is they're doing, and it saddens us to have to sit and watch all that's befalling many due to their actions and deeds. Worse is still to come for them, as what they do brings it upon them, and yet they do not accept this. We have sent some to teach them and guide them on their spiritual journeys, and yet they do not listen. 
There are those from the world of spirit who are with them daily and who try to guide them gently on the path of righteousness, and yet they listen not, as they prefer the words man has for them. Those are more pleasing to their ears, and because of this they are being led on a path of destruction. This destruction is not just for them, though. It's to bring about destruction of much that is known to you today in the world you inhabit now. Man has only himself to blame for things that are to befall him in the world now. These things are upon you all already, yet you ignore much of what you see happen. You believe it to be disasters of the world that happen for no reason other than nature. This is not right. These things you, these things are happening now more and more, and we have to show you what it is that you all do wrong. The way you live and behave needs to be changed, and many warnings have been given to, to you hoping to help you change your ways. We knew this could not happen before the time was right, but now the time is here. The reign of one who has led the world into this bad state is now over, and it is another who takes over. It is because of man listening to what is bad in the world that disasters are now to befall many, and thousands are to be hurt or killed in them when they happen. More and more will occur, and they will be closer together than ever before. Already, some have started to recognise these events for what they are. Some are to be at the hands of man, and yet a God's holy will for what man has done to the world he gave you all to live in. He is saddened and angered by much of what he has seen in the behaviour of some who wish to say they're truly spiritual beings. These are the ones who have angered him, and his anger is now to be unleashed on the world to clear that which man has done to destroy it. Mankind has destroyed and abused what was given, and now they have done what they have done is to be destroyed completely as the tables turn and God takes back his power over your world. Many do not believe he exists and watches over you all, but he has sat and watched all that happens and misses nothing. Those who are innocent will sadly have to also suffer, alongside those who have done these wrongs and misdeeds. This cannot be helped. And he is sorry for this, but their reward shall be great when they come to him. We are to give you words now to tell of some of the things man ponders over. We are to give some information to you for you to know, but there is still much more that's to be kept from you, as not all is to be revealed until the time is right for you as individuals. Some of the things we're to reveal are already known to some of you some much more than others, and this is due to the fact they have lived many times in your world. They are now on their last lifetime, and are therefore able to have more revealed in order that they can teach others. Many ridicule these people who have reached this point in their learning, while others belittle and call them names. Be assured, my friends, we know who these people are who do this, and their punishment shall be equal to their deeds when they too reach the spirit world. Many of you today teach there is no punishment for anyone when they leave the world you inhabit, but they would be wrong to teach this as it's untrue. There are many ways to be punished, and each is according to their own deeds. How they behaved and treated people whilst of your world is to be taken into account. So too is the way they treated and behaved towards animals and the planet you were given to live on. Many have abused one or all of these things, and they will be punished. Those who ridicule others for their beliefs will also have to pay for abusing them and ridiculing them. Many today believe there is no such one as God the Holy Father, and yet he does exist. It may not be in the way you all envisage him to be, but be assured, my friends, he is real, and he is saddened by what he sees and hears of those who believe in nothing but where you are now. Secrets never before revealed are now to be given for you all to read and learn from. Many will not understand some of what they see, but others will, and when they do, their hearts will race as they see what they believe to be as real. The one we used to 
Give these words has been used before by us to help guide and steer you in the right direction. She has been chosen as she is on her last lifetime if she so chooses. Her growth has been great and sudden as we use those we need only when the time is right. Her time is now and many doors are to open for her to reveal our truth as God wants it reveals, revealed. It has already started and her work and diligence have pleased us. She has been tried and tested by many and has stood strong and firm. Her rewards too will be great when she comes home finally to her resting place, but this is not to be for some time yet as she has much work to do ahead of her. We are to use her for much work and she is now to be heard and listened to. Many have been ignoring her, ridiculing and casting aspersions on her work. They are to be repaid for this at another time. But for now, they will see her rise beyond anything they could dare hope to obtain in this lifetime. They will have to learn by what they see happen to her as she does this work for us in earnest. It begins in the way she has long awaited in order for people to hear the words we have given her. The words in this book we write with her will shock many. Others will heed our warnings, while others again will deny it is from us and will accuse her of saying it herself. It matters not, as those who are ready to hear and understand will. Of those who already have their eyes firmly shut, some will be open to see at last, while others will keep them firmly closed. All will happen as it is meant to, and those who are ready will move forward as their eyes are opened. The others will remain as they are now. Some of them will ponder on our words, though, and even though they're not ready yet to accept them, it will make them change some of their ways for the better, even if not completely. Now, my friends, we start. We will tell things to you that will help you understand more of life after you have left the world you're in now. We will also tell you of mysteries of your world and why these things have to happen. Be ready, for not all you read will be pleasant, and some will hurt those of you who have long held beliefs that are not of what truly happens. Here is where it starts.